Yo, what's up, guys? It's International O. Um, instead of doing, uh, instead of showing my face, I'm just going to go through this book in case any of you guys were interested to see what's in it. The Virgil Abloh Something's Off book. So I'm just going to browse through some of the pages. I'm not going to go page for page. Um, I'm just going to browse through it and see what's all in it. I'm going to get to like the pictures and illustrations, as you can see. He had some concepts and ideas that he wanted to do, like the blazer. So, then, yeah. So I showed that in, in one of the previous videos. So let's see what else they got in here. So white Air Force a sample. Then some some text that he was send, sending. He wanted to redesign a few. The converse. And let's see. The low tops. He had a, I can't remember the name of that Nike. Please forgive me. And I used to work there. I need to be ashamed of myself. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else? Okay. So we've seen the blazer before. Then the black one. Which of course the Jordan one. So they kind of show how they deconstructed the shoe um, there. And this one looked old and aged. You have that one. Pages are a little thick. Yeah, so it's kind of showing that, that the whole process of creating them. And it has this one here. So I'm guessing this is going to show what they did to the, like the pages are pretty thick too. So you gotta careful when you turn them. That's actually dope. I like that. So yeah, let's just breeze. I'm gonna breeze through it, but yeah. Oh, Prestos. Yeah. As you can see, he wrote chicks on the Prestos stuff. Vapor Max. So let's just breeze through it. You know, some swatches. Oh, it's the Converse one. Oh, Air Force High. Hmm. Nah, they did a low, I guess. That would have been dope to see a high, though. He probably would have bought that Air Force One wave, the high wave back. Oh, this was supposed to be a high top version of a Air Max 90. And then this is like a mid almost. Looks like a mid. Oh, that's a that's an Air Force one? Oh, that's an Air Force one too. Okay. So yeah, man, he overall it just looked like he had a bunch of interesting ideas and concepts. That he had to, that he wanted to do with some of the uh, shoes and some of the releases. So, yeah. Then it has this. These are shoes that actually already, yeah, these have already been out. These have already released with the exception. I, don't, I haven't seen this. I haven't seen those two with the high top joint. And this one, because I that that blue Air Force One, did it have a black soul? If it did, forgive me, but I don't remember having. Yeah, that's what that was the original. I'm not familiar with this one, so that might be another one that that could be on the horizon. But yeah, overall dope. Can't complain. Oh, I guess this is. Some this is when what we're definitely looking forward to. This one we didn't get, we ended up getting a variation. We got that one. I still want that shoe, it's just arm and a leg. So, but yeah, um, it's, it's more designed and stuff in here. It's just I didn't go through every page. Um, and it has little notes about, I guess, some of the supplies and materials I was used to make the book. 
But uh, like I said, I got mine from Good Books. You can go to goodbooks.com. I think that's the name of it. I'll leave the link down in the description for the bookstore because uh, you can notify. They can notify you if they restock on the book. And that's what I did. And I got it, I think, Thursday. They shipped it Wednesday or Thursday or whatever. It was before the drop that happened on sneakers. So whenever that was, I got it. I caught mine before the drop on sneakers, like a day or two before. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go over the book with you guys if you were interested in seeing it. And that's it.